Good morning. Monday morning coffee. Welcome. Um, I'm going to let a little bit of time for people to join. Carla, just join. Good morning. I am very, very grateful and uh, so enthused this week for what just happened. Good morning, Greg. And if you look at the title of what I wrote, because it is, it is very important in, in realizing and be honest with yourself that um, you, you know we are loving praise. And that's probably because we are coming from a place where that we are, we've been brought up by looking for approval from our parents, from uh, school, from our teachers, from everybody. Right, we have been reprogrammed to look for approval. So when people are praising you, when people are giving you comments and and are happy for you and and tells you like Mark, like you're you're so good and all those things, um, it you know it's kind of stro- striking our ego or something. And the reason why I'm talking about this today is because. Uh, like I did qualify for like qualification that we have in our company uh, for six time in a row. And, and uh, I'm really, really proud about this one because like we restructured everything into our way of operating. And it, it was, it was a very, um, a very tough time. And so many of you have been acknowledging and send me congratulations and all this. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like I want to share my gratitude to you. Um, that is one of the reason why I do what I do. It's because I want to help people to realize the power and the potential that they have within themselves. And if we are, if you are honest to yourself, you know that there's something better. There, you know, there's something deep down inside that you can you can do and you can be better and you can have better results and you can do more but somehow there's something as well inside of you that is holding you back that said oh maybe i'm gonna do this later or maybe like another time and that is that is where that i think i can help and this is where that my i'm so grateful for my clients that they they have the trust and they want to um let me guide them and mentor them and teach in, in a way uh, how to get to that part. And, and I'm really, really grateful. But like, you cannot be addicted to the praise because if you are doing this, you're living from the outside in. You're living from like whatever is happening on the outside. You need to be very, very um, still and focused in, in, um, Honest with yourself, it, am I doing this because I want to get the praise or I'm doing this because, because I truly want to help, because I truly want to be of service? And that part is extremely important. Um, so I want to share something with you, which I've been reading now for nine months. Like nine months I've been reading the same text which is called The Spirit of Opulence from Thomas Stroward, which is from his book, The Hidden Power. And nine months, every single day, I'm reading the very same thing. And today I picked up something. And that has to do as well with what I just wrote there about uh, praise. Because like I had, I had a lot of people that wrote to me in the, the last few days and I've been, uh, I've been sharing like, you know, their gratitude and I've been, uh, giving me some very nice compliment, and I'm I'm truly touched and and grateful, and uh, was on a cloud as well. Like I have to be honest, um, but as I was reading this, I started like thinking, you know, it is it is very interesting, but it is very important to to understand where it's coming from and and why we do what we're doing. And, uh, and this is the part like which it, it talks about the spirit of opulence. Now, if we're thinking about opulence, uh, a lot of people, are, well, most people are not understanding that word, but 
opulence is really like becoming one with the energy of luxurious wealth in abundance. What you want is you want to be, and when I'm talking about wealth, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about a good from all aspects of your life, like relationship, um, health, um, like material stuff, uh, like intelligence, spirit, like all of those things. This is what abundance is for me. So I want to have, I want to live into the spirit of abundance. But when we're talking about spirit, spirit is life, right? And life ultimately consists in circulation. So it's very, very important that you understand that life is circulation. Like if something does, doesn't move, it dies instantly. Look at water. If you take water and you put it there and then it stays still, like there's bacteria that's going to start forming and it like the water is going to become contaminated. But if, if the water is still running, like there's circulation, it moves. Okay. So like life consistent circulation and it doesn't matter a circulation we can talk about on the scale of the entire solar system the universe or we can talk at uh the individual okay us the human and when we understand this principle it becomes clear that we shall put our attention to the giving rather to the receiving Right, our attention should be directed rather to the giving than the receiving. Now, in other words, when you are starting with giving, this is how that you're putting the law of circulation to work. So you activate that law. And what it says is as you give, you shall receive, right? You heard that before. And understanding the spirit of opulence. What what it doesn't believe like necessarily just in money that and this is the part I think that people are are really misunderstanding about wealth. You know, you you hear wealth and then instantly people are related wealth with money instantly, but it's not what this law is all about. This law is about really the generous feeling, which is the intuitive recognition of the great law of circulation. The generous feeling, the generous feeling of giving. Okay. And it makes, and which does not in any undertaking make the first question, how much am I going to get by it? So, in other words, when you are starting by giving, you're not you're not thinking about yourself as a, okay, what am I gonna get? Which again, we have been programmed to exchange, right? If I'm giving you this, you're going to give me back that back, right? We're always exchanging, but that's not what the, the, the law of circulation is about. It's the generous feeling and the intuitive recognition of the great law of circulation. So I want to give, I want to give because I want to do good. So how much, how much am I going to do by it? So if I give, I can do something. I can inspire you. I can make you become better. I can make you um, feeling good. And then by doing this, instantly, the law will bring it back to you. Because you make this the first question, the getting will flow in with a generous profusion and with a spontaneousness and rightness of direction spontaneousness and rightness of direction so it's going to happen out of nowhere it's going to happen like by by law okay spontaneousness it's going to come but you cannot you cannot direct it but it says by a rightness of direction so it's going to come exactly the way it needs to come that it's going to be absent when your first thought is of receiving only bonjour mama J'espère que ça va bien. My mom doesn't speak English, but she said, hi, c'est mom. Um, so how are you giving without expecting anything in return? 
and this is where this is where as well that it's it's important that you are developing this quality of doing things without expecting anything in return and i think that this is one of the reason why gary vaynerchuk is so successful into what he's doing because he's never expecting anything in all the good that you provide on social media. I mean, he's been in business like for like end of the end of the uh, 90s that he started in business, like in the wine business. And then in the middle of 2000 years, like from 2000 to 2010, like maybe around 2007, he saw the power of social media. And realize he says like this is this is the future. This is where it's all gonna happen. And in the last ten years, he built this empire, which now is I mean, in the Super Bowl yesterday, he did some commercials there, like advises some commercials in there. This is how big that he became. But what he's been giving over social media, he's been giving this for free. And he's never expect anything in return. So what are you doing every single day to provide service, to give without expecting anything in return? And you're doing this because it's what can you do by it? What type of impact can you create? What type of message that you can vehicle? And if you're into the state, if you are into the spirit, everything is going to change now. When I ask, are you addicted to the praises? Is, are you living for the praises? And a lot of people are totally, uh, are messed up into, especially in this era of social media where that uh, their life is surrounded around whatever they're getting out of their likes and, and their, the comments on their uh, social media platform. Guys, this is a tool. So you need to use it as a tool. The same way that a carpenter uses a hammer, right? Like you love your hammer, but like it, that's not what makes you feel good or feel bad. It's a tool. So you got to use it that way. Um, Elja is saying like we all have that put in our souls to want to be better. But having a mentor to tap into that is so vital. Totally agree with you. Um, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Very, very happy that you are connecting. Just make sure that you you are in harmony with the type of uh, impact legacy that you want to put out there, and and give like start your day by thinking, what can I do today to make this place a better place? And if each and every one of us are saying this and thinking this and making this part of our daily habits, you will see we will live in a very, very good place. So this is what I have for you today. I hope that you're having a spectacular day. Uh, again, thank you so much for all your um, great words and, and praises and, and love. Uh, I am truly, truly grateful and uh, happy that you have the time to connect with me today. Have a spectacular week and we'll talk next Monday. Peace out.